The second matter I picked up on was that of noise. Noise was a, a, a fairly common theme with the deputies. Um, noise I'm going to turn up starts at page 43 of your agenda. Um, you see that there's no noise emitted from the buried cables. That's quite a, a clear statement at the start of that particular part of the report. The issue comes with noise from the converter station itself. Um, going over the page to 44, you will see that the, the 30 decibel figure that's been referred to is, is what's referred to technically as the rating level. To all intents and purposes, that's the emitted sound plus the inclusion of acoustic character penalties for the tonal quality of the noise, so the hum, the drone. Certain noises might have different impacts on, on, on people. So the, the, the relevant BS standard requires the application of character penalties to reduce that level further. Um, so that 30 decibel figure that we're looking to secure by planning condition is for the figure with those penalties applied to deal with the tonal quality of the noise. In terms of um, the actual conditions that deal with noise, there was, uh, I think, a comment in one of the deputations, I can't remember which, which member of the public made it, so my apologies for not being specific, um, about condition number 11, <coughs> that's on page 62, dealing simply with um, the submission of a scheme to the local planning authority to demonstrate how buildings will be designed and external part attenuated to control noise, and the deputation continue to say that there's nothing to say how that noise level is set or what that noise level is. Um, so for the purpose of members, I would encourage you to, or ask you to read on to condition number 12. Condition number 12 sets out the, the buildings and also the noise, the rating level of noise, so that's that actual noise with acoustic character penalties applied from the converter station shall not exceed the 30 decibel figure. So that's in the second of the two of the three noise conditions. And then you'll see that condition 13 deals with the monitoring and validation of that noise level once the converter station would become operational. Um, one one comment was made towards the end of your deputations with regards to low frequency noise. Um, and perhaps I can suggest a verbal update for condition 11 for you, Chairman, um, to deal with low frequency noise. And that's just sort of one, two, three, the fourth line down, almost at the end of the first, first sentence. So the line starts external plant attenuated to control noise emissions. At the end of that sentence, that including low frequency noise. So that will pick up and hopefully deal with that particular comment from the deputy. Um, comments were also made by members of the public with regards to um, ensuring compliance with planning conditions. Uh, the conditions that are before you have been worked on um, by officers um, and we shared them with the applicant. The applicant has agreed that they will meet the standards in the conditions. Um, so the, the figures are, are, are at levels the applicant has committed to achieve. Um, if, if they don't, then the local planning authority has their normal powers for breaches of, of planning conditions. Um, we can deal with that yeah, should, should that arise. <laughs>